Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Today, I'm here with a prophetic dream. In this dream, I was um, living on Bracewood in an apartment. Um, I had the knowing that I was living there alone i felt like i felt like um like my mom had left like my mom had moved um out which would make sense okay but anyways i felt like i was living there alone but my ex had came to be with me um and we were now living together in this apartment um and we were just basically working toward getting ourselves together it's like um, we were just basically, he had came to live with me and to get himself together and he was getting a job and we were just basically working towards our future. The scripture God sent me to is Daniel eleven twenty one through 24. He will be succeeded by a contemplate, contemptible person who has not been given the honor of royalty. He will invade the kingdom when his people feel secure and he will seize it through intrigue. Then an overwhelming army will be swept away before him. Both it and a prince of the covenant will be destroyed. After coming to an agreement with him, he will act deceitfully. And with only a few people, he will rise to power. When the richest provinces feel secure, he will invade them and will achieve what neither his fathers nor his forefathers did. He will distribute plunder, loot, and wealth amongst his followers. He will plot the overthrow of the fortress but only for a time. Okay, so as I was reading this scripture, God was speaking to me saying, for someone, your ex is sitting in the background. They are sitting in the foreground watching you and they are waiting for you to get to a certain height. And once you get to this height, this person is going to come back to you and they are going to act like they have every intention on being with you loving you, marrying you, and um, building with you. But their true intentions will be to come in and destroy everything that you have. Their true intentions will be to come in and pull everything apart. They are not going to be wanting to do things the correct way. And that's the sense of knowing I had in this dream was that he, he kept saying he was getting himself together. He kept saying, oh, I'm getting a job. Oh, I'm going to, I'm, I'm working here and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And basically it was like, he was trying to be the man of the household and tell me what I needed to do and how we needed to do this. And we needed to do that. But I just kept feeling like we were sneaking around or something. It just kept feeling like something we were doing it was being hidden or something like something wasn't all the way right. And God is saying that feeling is because this person is not genuine. There is somebody, your ex is not genuine at all, regardless if they were truly hurt or not by your breakup. God meant for y'all to break up. God meant for y'all to be separated because this person does not, they don't have any good intentions for you. God says he will be succeeded by a contemptible, contemptible person given um who has not been given honor of royalty so this is somebody who has no intentions at all of marrying you this is somebody who has no intentions at all of being serious they have no intentions of truly making you their wife their only intent um their only he will invade the kingdom when his people feel secure so like I said, this person is waiting. They in the foreground. They're waiting. They're watching you, watching you grow, watching you build yourself together, watching you get yourself together. They're watching as you just flourish without them. And they're angry in the background. Once they see that you are secure, once they see that you have yourself together, like I said, I was in this um in this apartment, in this house, and I knew that my mother was no longer there. So, um, but I felt like it was wrong. Like it was wrong for me to be living there with him. It was wrong for him to have, for him to come and stay with me in my apartment, especially since he did not marry me. And, um, 
I just felt like it was wrong. It was wrong. And God is saying that that is him. That's how you will know that this situation is coming to pass or that this is what is going on. God will put these feelings in you to tell you that something you're doing is wrong. God will make you feel like, no, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be living with him. He needs to marry me first. I shouldn't be um, messing with him. He needs to marry me first. We're not going to, we're not going to sk sk uh, skip any steps. Because this person's only intention is to destroy you. Then an overwhelming army will be swept away before him. Both it and a prince of covenant will be destroyed. God has built you up as this fortress. God has built you up as this stronghold. And if you allow this person, like I said, this person is going to come in when you are at your peak. And they're going to come in in such a way where you wouldn't even notice it. You wouldn't even expect this out of this person. They may even come at you and say, yo, I need some help. I need, I, I, I just need to get on my feet. I just got to get back on my feet. I'm just going through hard times right now. I just, um, this happened. Or they, they going to come to you with some sob story. I hear God playing the violin. They going to come in with a real good sob story. And they, they going to start telling you all these, all these things that they got going on. And they got the big eyes and, you know, please help me. And God said, don't do it. It is not your responsibility to take care of no grown man. It is not your response. You is not his mama. It is not your responsibility to take care of no grown man. He needs to figure it out on his own. He needs to figure it out. He needs to figure it out. It's not your job to take care of him. It's not your job to move him in. It's not your job because all he's going to do when he first come in, he's going to come in with this. With this sense of like, okay, I'm so grateful for you. Oh, thank you so much. I, I I appreciate you doing this for me. I appreciate you doing that. And dot, 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 dot. And then he's going to slowly but for surely start putting his, his hand in things that you got going on that don't have nothing to do with him. He's going to start destroying what you have going on. And he's doing it on purpose. And as he's destroying what you have going on, you're helping him build himself up. So his plan is going to be, he will distribute plunder, loot, and wealth amongst his followers. He's going to have people helping him that you're not even going to know about. You don't even know. And you know, in the dream, it was somebody that had moved from out of town. And I wasn't, I, like, I would have, you... You would never expect this person to know anybody. You wouldn't expect this person to have friends that are helping them to destroy you. But they will. God said, it's not your job to take care of this man. And it's not your job to move them in. And you know good and well that God does not uh, see. He, he does not think highly of us um, shacking up. He doesn't. He doesn't. He, he doesn't take lightly of uh, fornication and he doesn't take lightly of us shacking up anyways. So if a man is coming to you, regardless if he is falling on hard times, whatever he got going on, talking about he got a sob story, he want to sweet talk you and this, that and the third. If he's so serious, then y'all need to get married. Seriously, y'all do. And, um, you know, he may come and say, well, we can't get married right now because we're not ready. We don't have the funds. We don't have this. We don't have that. So it makes more sense for this man to tell you that he does take you seriously, but he's not ready to commit to you yet because he doesn't give you anything. And then, you know, th this same person, I'm pretty sure this is somebody that has told you in the past that they didn't want to commit to you because they felt like you were a gold digger. They felt like this. They don't want to, they don't want to be with somebody that just want them for their money. God said, if you don't let this foolishness go, it is not your job to take care of no grown man, especially a grown man that don't want to commit to you. Period. Period, period, period. If he can't scrap together the money to buy you a ring and take you down to the courthouse, then he is not worthy of uh of 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 your your help, your time, your effort, or your energy. Cause this is somebody they see your success, they see the way that you coming up, and they want to steal it from you. 
They want to steal it from you. They want to steal it from you. They want to steal it from you. It'd be like somebody that, you know, they see that, like, like if you were a person um, on YouTube, you were a YouTuber, you make videos, you do this, you do that, and here come this person coming out of nowhere, and they say that they want to they wanna be on your channel. They want to, they, and really, in reality, and I'm saying this because somebody did this to me, in reality, this person wants to try to take your followers. They want your subscribers. They want people that are interested in you to be interested in them. And you never know, 9 out of 10, they mess around and try to uh, flip the script on you, make people feel some kind of way about you, start talking about you, start uh, uh, telling lies and all kind of like. I'm saying this to, to, to help somebody, somebody, somebody. It is somebody that is looking in the background. They are watching you rise. They are watching you do well. And they are hating and they're coming up with a plan. Like right now, while they watching you, they sending people around you to try to distract you and to try to hurt you, but they're not going to be able to do it. So they themselves are going to come around you and them and all these people are going to start putting together this plan to destroy everything you have going on. God says he's not going to allow this to happen, but only for a time, even if it was to get to the point that he will plot to overthrow the fortress, but only for a time. This person can plot and scheme all they want to. They can hide it from you as much as they want to. They can put forth all the effort and energy they want to, but they will not, they will not, they will not be able to destroy what God is building you up to be. That's the message, y'all, okay? Be weary of uh, ex popping up out of nowhere talking about they need help. It's not your job to take care of no grown man. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.